circles and then he got from past from here to there to there to here and went in full circles by the time he come to me his head was completely fried and um so he asked me um told me the situation asked what the best septic tank and soak away was and i showed him so i'm an independent septic tank consultant um i've been doing this for 20 years and these free broadcasts are designed to help you there's no sales pitch here don't want your money don't want anything like that just designed to help you all right so with that in mind let's just crack on to this right so now you can type in septic tanks on the internet and you'll come across um, millions and millions of septic tanks. Oh man, onion septic tanks, concrete septic tanks, this septic tank, that septic tank, everything about a septic tank. And it just goes on and on and on. And by the time you've talked to like for three or four or five people, you know, bring a, bring a hundred different people up well, not 100, okay, ring five different people up, 10 different people from 10 different companies, and they'll all tell you that their tanks are the best and everyone else's is rubbish, and you've got to do this, and you've got to do that. I just want to cut through the flack and get straight to the point here, all right? So you can troll the internet looking for septic tanks. You can do that, and there's hundreds of different septic tanks on there. But after 20 years of being in the business, I've just... I pride myself. I love making things easy for people. Not only do I like to help them save money, but I like to help them find cost-effective solutions and septic tank and soakaways that are easy to install, are government improved, uh, approved, and they don't get tied up in red tape, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so these are your options. Option number one: you control the internet, ringing loads of companies to find out what I've already told you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to show you a really easy way in which you can get the information that you're looking for and make an informed decision. All right, so yes, septictank.co.uk. It's designed, my website is designed to help people um, get free information, get free advice, so they can make an informed decision and, um, and get the best solution for them all right so let me just get straight to this on here you'll notice right uh, one of my products that i do which is very very popular product septic tank and soak away kit all right let me just click on that so i've tried to make this really simple for people right if you've got a one to two bedroom property you've got a three to four bedroom property five to six bedroom property you can just click on this and this is just designed to show people what a septic tank and soakaway are comprised of and just how easy they are to install. Not all septic tanks and soakaways are easy to install, but these particular ones I sell are. And have a look at them, watch the videos, ring around other companies, and then, as I said, make your own decision. But this particular septic tank and soakaway kit I'm selling can literally, you can get it in within three hours, right? Instead of taking like five or six days, you can get them in. So there's a video on my site. You can press play there, and uh, it shows you how to um, what what the in just three hours. A kit that came with all the pipes, the tank, an inspection chamber, and the soak away. <laughs> Right, so it's called the septic tank and soak away kit, and it's really, really easy to install. All right, so that's it in a nutshell. Okay, so with the septic tank and soak away kit, you're getting five, five meters of pipe. You can watch the video. You get the inspection chamber. You're getting a septic tank, and you're getting the septic tank soak away crates. Now, the reason I've put you onto this is because I want to show you this, right? I just want to show you how easy it is to install a septic tank. Many people will come to you and you'll get quotes for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 quid for a septic tank and soak away, right? And I just wanna show you how good uh, these low profile non-concrete tanks are. So here's a typical situation here, right? Here's a typical situation. All right, you've got your house, look, you're in the country, 
Um, maybe you're building this house. Maybe you're in a log cabin. Maybe you're in a mobile home, something like that. It doesn't really matter. But let me show you how easy these septic tank and soak away kits are to install. You can do them yourself or you can get your local builder to do them. But let me show you this, right? Yeah, every house will have a soil pipe coming from it. All right. So literally, the first thing you need to do, uh, easy, is to dig a trench from the soil pipe right down to wherever you want your septic tank to go to. All right. Then from there, all you need to do, secondly, is dig the hole for the tank. All right. Which is and these low profile tanks I was telling you about these low profile tanks. So years ago. You used to get massive onion tanks that are like 12, 13 foot tall. Today, they do these low profile tanks that are really shallow. Just like, takes you like 40 minutes to dig the hole. And this is what I'm trying to direct people to buy now. You know, you don't have to have been dig down to Australia to put a septic tank in. So what you do is this, right? You dig um, your trench for your pipe, standard four inch pipe, and you dig a hole for your septic tank. Then you dig two other holes. Now, this is this is really clever. Whoever invented this, you dig one another hole there like so, which you'll see what it's for in a minute, and you dig another hole like so. So it takes you about 40 to 50 minutes to dig the hole for your entire septic tank and soak away system. And this is where the magic really starts to happen. Have a watch of this. So I'm going to go in now, and I'm going to go here. I'm just going to take the grass away so I can show you a cross section. So the first thing we're going to do, all right, we're going to lay the orange pipe in the trench. There you go. I mean, how easy is that, right? The next thing we're going to do, all right, is install, just put in the hole, the no concreting, heavy duty, but very light septic tank. Look at that. And that just literally, the orange pipe slots into it. And there you go. These tanks are really, really, really shallow. Take about 40 or 50 minutes to put in, right? So then after that, this is the outlet pipe here. You then literally put the outlet pipe from the tank to there. You connect a German inspection chamber to that. And then if you're wondering what this hole is here, let me show you this, right? This is for the septic tank. Soak away crates. Now, the septic tank soak away crates are not um, rainwater crates. You can't use rainwater crates for your septic tank and soak away, but you can use septic tank soak away crates. Okay, so there's a difference. So don't get um, caught out by buying rainwater tanks, uh, rainwater crates for your septic tank soak away. They are cheaper, but you'll they don't work. You'll end up digging them back up four or five months time and having to put a new soak away in. So that is why you can't use rainwater crates. Okay, so when you've done that, then you just literally, right, put the septic tank crates into the hole. Just place them straight into the hole like so. All right, like so. All right, then you connect from the inspection chamber uh, a pipe from there to the crates. There you go, like that. It literally just goes in about um, a foot foot and a half, something like that, in from there. And then when you've done that, all you need to do is cover the crates over with membrane. So let's put this grass cutaway section back on. So there you go. So this is the reason why I'm showing you now. So that's what it looks like from an aerial view. So let me just spin this round, right? So you've dug your trench from your house. That goes to your tank goes to your inspection chamber and goes to your crates. It's as simple as that, right? Listen, you can go and put an onion tank in that's 10 times deeper than this. You have to concrete them in, eight, nine hundred quid. There's no concrete involved in this. To put the septic tank in, let me show you. Once you put the septic tank in the hole, let me just show you what you've got to do with it. All right, once you've done that, when you put that in the hole, all you have to do is backfill around the tank with some shingle. There you go, 20 to 30 mil shingle. It really is as simple as that. I mean, you know, technology has moved on so much now that these systems are made 
for the DIY market. It's just incredible. That's why I'm so passionate about this stuff. All right. And so literally all that you do, right, is you cover the crates over with soil, cover the inspection chamber over with soil, cover the tank over with soil. And then all you've got left, you know, let me show you this, would be your trench going back to your house and then just cover the trench over with soil. Job done. So within three hours, that is what you will have left. Now, you can obviously, you know, turf this or seed it. But the point I wanted to tell you was if you're looking for septic tanks and soakaways, right, I've been doing this so long now. I want to show you a shortcut. This is the whole reason I'm doing this, right, to show you a shortcut. Many septic tanks uh, companies get you to buy massive onions or, you know, sewage treatment plants, 10, 15, 20, 30,000. Do you know what? It, it's crazy. You know, for, do that if you want to. I'm, I'm not knocking those companies, but I'm just saying, look, if you want, if you're looking for um, uh, a building regs approved, septic tank complete septic tank and soak away system that takes three hours to install then then um the septic tank soak away kit is for you it's as simple as that with the kit you get all the pipes you get the inspection chamber you get the septic tank crates you get the membrane you, you get everything it, 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 listen so everything turns up on your door right as i said you get the pipes you get the inspection chamber you get the septic tank, you get the crates. And literally, as I've shown you in the video, it literally will take you three hours to get in the ground. But look, if you're not confident enough to do it, that's fine. That's fine. Just get your builder to do it. The point is, um, you can pay someone five, six, seven, eight thousand quid to put a septic tank and soak away in. Do you want to know how much this costs? One four nine nine. <laughs> One four nine nine for an entire septic tank and soak away system that takes that you can get in yourself with no experience in just three hours so that's my tip of the day right if you're looking for if you're you can look you can go on the internet and you can type in septic tanks right and you'll come across hundreds of different companies and please phone them up talk to them ask for their advice stuff like that of course do that i'm not telling you not to do that but i'm just after 20 years I'm just trying to show you a shortcut. I've been in this business a long, 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 long time. These are the tanks. These are the soakaways that the pros are using. The, the, this, this technology is from like space race technology. Gone are the days of these old clunky, horrible onion tanks that just like, you know, you have to dig to Australia to rip in, dig the hole for and then backfill with like a thousand quids worth of concrete and pay someone flaming five grand to do it or spend a week doing it. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to do it anymore at all. Just get yourself, all right? After you've done your research, come back and have a look and you'll find that these septic tank soak away kits, right, that I've designed, that I make, will do the job for you in three hours. So that's my that's my tip of the day. And if you want one more tip of the day, here you go, have a look at this. If you go, if you've got a septic tank already and you're looking to replace it or you're looking to put a new septic tank in and you're worried about all the rules and regulations about septic tanks that come into force on the 1st of Jan 2020, don't be. I've got some really good news for you, right? On my website here, you'll see it says beat the septic tank ban. If you click that, right? I've got something else free for you. All this is free. I don't want a penny. There's no catch. All this is free, right? Free advice I'm giving you. I'm spending, what, 15 minutes of my day today trying to help you out here. Right. Yeah, forget me grimacing like that. Okay, my video isn't going to win any Oscars, but what's in the video will, right? If you've got a septic tank or you're looking to put a septic, a septic tank, tank, right, this form here, this form that I'm holding right here, if it loads up, there you go. That form right there will save you thousands and thousands of pounds. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's more information there. But you can fill this form in here. It's free. As I said, there's no catch. There's no con. Put your name and your email address in there. And I'll send you a free government compliance form. Right, the government compliance form, you'll notice on the form. Let's see if I can go to here. Here it is here. Right, you'll notice some blanks. 
There's some blanks that I've purposely, some spaces I've purposely left on the form. Fill them in. Um, the, the blanks will, uh, you can put in what system you've got, how old it is, what condition it is, what, what it's made from, how often you have it maintained. Download three copies. Put one in your kitchen, put one in your utility room, and hand one to your solicitor. This form will save you thousands and thousands of pounds because on the 1st of January 2020, it's all changing. Um, people are going to be fined and the septic tank ban is coming into force. And many people are cross, they're annoyed about this septic tank ban that's coming into force. Many people angry and shouting at me because I'm, I'm telling them about the septic tank ban. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just the messenger. So the point is, look, just to recap, if you're looking for a septic tank and soak away, by all means, surf the internet and ring around loads of different people. If you want a really um, cost effective and easy way um, to 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 uh, to put your own septic tank or soak away in or get your builder to do it, then just get yourself a septic tank and soak away kit. They're approved by UK building regs and they'll take you three hours to do. If you've got a septic tank and you're looking for a septic tank, there's one thing you have to do. Get yourself a government compliance form. They're free. Won't cost you a penny. It'll take you probably, what, two minutes to do? Minute, if that. Get yourself a free government compliance form. Download one. Put one in your kitchen, one in your utility room, hand one to your solicitor, and you'll save thousands of pounds. So all that I ask is that you, um, you, you know, you know, not only watch my stuff, but please ring other people as well. Make an informed decision. And, and and go for it you know don't be don't be um uh what's the word i'm looking for if you're ringing around companies and they're saying nah mate you've got to put our systems in they're 10 15 000 quid or, or or your system won't be legal don't be put off by the first hurdle you come up against all the misinformation on the internet lots of companies out there are looking to make money and cash in from the 2020 ban so please you know if you're going to make a decision, base base it on talking to three or four or five different people and get an overview and see what the truth is about the septic tank ban. And and um, because look, you can you can make your septic tank legal and compliance for peanuts, even for free. So anyway, there you go. So um, thank you very much for watching my um, my live broadcast today. If I'm looking a bit rough today, it's because I am because I've been rough the last few days. I've been ill. I don't know what I've had. You know, when you get older, you get ill, don't you? <laughs> Is it? Well, that's, that's my experience anyway. But listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today. Have a great day. And. Uh